for a new paddle clockwise for easier access and a better working condition for loosening the bolts. Press down the bolts and pump and pad. When the pump and pad is loose, remove the bolts. Then remove the bolts between the volume casing and cargo leg. Exchange two of the bolts with lowering lifting bolts. One bolt in each leg. Remove the rest of the bolts on the cargo flange and also between the volume casing and bearing housing. Finally, the volume casing, suction cover and pump impeller are now hanging by the lowering lifting bolts, diagonally positioned on each cargo leg. To avoid damage on the tank top, Use plastic strips when sliding out the unit. Lower the whole unit down carefully, turning the lowering lifting bolts in parallel. Slide the unit out of the well. <coughs> Remove the upper wear ring and inspect it carefully. Remove the seal element and the O-ring between the impeller and impeller hub. These are usually parts which are fit for future use, but they have to be inspected and cleaned before assembly. The next step is to turn the unit upside down. The suction cover and the impeller can now be dismantled and the parts can be inspected. Pay special attention to the wearings. Normal radial clearance when new is 0.3 millimetres. We recommend changing the wearings if the radial clearance is more than one millimetre. Loosen the locking bracket and remove the locking ring. Use the suction bell mouth to lift out the suction cover. And finally, lift up the pump impeller. Changing the wearings is a service job normally done by the crew on board. How frequently depends primarily on the type of cargo. Check the impeller for any foreign particles which might be stuck inside. Some ships discharging cargo with a lot of sediment may have to do this job several times a year while others carrying only clean oil products may run for five to ten years before doing any service work on the cargo pump. Sequence number two, dismantling a double cargo lip seal and coffered out seal. Normal service done by the crew on board. First, dismantle the coffer down check pipe. Then dismantle the impeller hub from the pump shaft. Unscrew the lock nut and remove the nut and the lock washer. <coughs> the impeller hub is pulled out by using an extractor from the front toolbox. Be very careful not to damage the O-rings and ceramic sleeve. 
Remove the ceramic sleeve retainer. Install the assembling cylinder to keep the ceramic sleeve in place and to protect the sensitive legs from the lip seals. Pull down the seal ring housing with the cargo seal. The Taflon seal element must be removed and controlled. Dismantle the double cargo seal. Inspect the parts and change if necessary. The Fromo seal cargo seal must also be dismantled. Changing of the cargo seals is also a normal service job on typical wear and tear parts, normally done by the crew on board. We recommend changing both the single and double cargo seals together. They're now delivered as one spare part for the front seal set. For control and renewal of the ceramic sleeve, the assembling cylinder has to be removed. The ceramic sleeve must be handled very carefully, as it... Thank you.